Hi, everybody. This is Mr. Marshall at Stony Lane. Um, I wanted to take a few minutes of your time to talk to you about something very important in supporting your child's learning, and that's helping to create what's called a growth mindset. A growth mindset is bigger than just saying nice things to your child or making them feel good about their learning. Um, it's a lot deeper than that, and I wanted to tell you a little bit about that today. Um, so what is growth mindset? Growth mindset is a theory or a concept that was really made big by someone named Carol Dweck, who is an American psychologist and professor at Stanford University. Um, and in, in the creation of the idea of a growth mindset, she makes the distinction between what's called a growth mindset and a fixed mindset. When a person has a growth mindset, um, actually, when a person has a fixed mindset, then they feel like they're sort of stuck. They know all they're going to know about a particular thing. And that can be something like a skill like cooking or playing basketball, or it can be something like math. Um, but it feels like they're at a point in their life where that's it. That's all they're going to know. That's all they're able to learn. And maybe they know a lot. Maybe they don't know a lot. But um, that's what a fixed mindset is. And when a person has a growth mindset, it's sort of the opposite of that. That means that there's always new things to learn. Um, whether I feel like I'm good at something now or not so good at it yet, um, there's always more that I can do. And um, so when someone feels like they are kind of stuck in their learning, um, they can overcome that. All right? That's really what a growth mindset is and what it does. Um, it tells a person that new learning is always possible. Whether you feel like you're good at something or not so good at something, there's always more that you can learn. Um, if you want to learn more about growth mindsets, um, here are two sites that I can recommend to you. Um, one is a TED Talk, which is a presentation that's about 10 minutes long by Carol Dweck herself. And it talks about all the background of what a growth mindset is and some research about how a growth mindset can be very effective for students in their learning long term. And um, it's a really powerful presentation, and I hope that you take the time to watch it. It's about 10 minutes long. Um, another site here is um, it's a video for how you as parents can support a growth mindset for your students, for your children. Um, some very simple things that you can do around the house. All right, so take a look at that. Um, these are not hyperlinked here, but what you can do is you can just remember tinyurl.com slash, and then I've created these links, Growth Ted and Growth Parents. So check those out. So here are some things that you can say to your children to help promote a growth mindset. Instead of saying, you can try saying, so instead of saying, you're so good at basketball, you're so good at reading, okay? You can try to say things like, you've been working hard on basketball. You've been working hard on reading, okay? Um, because it doesn't make them feel like they're just naturally good or not good at something, but that it's taken a lot of effort and a lot of work, and that that's something that they can continue to do through lots of practice and lots of effort. Um, we don't want to say things like, you are a subject student. So we don't want to say, you're such a math student, or we don't want to say, you're such a reading student. Because what that does, it has two kinds of negative effects on a child. One is that it makes them feel like, well, if I'm a math student, then I probably am not a reading student, or a science student, or a history student, or a writing student, okay? Um, and it kind of like implicitly gives them the message that that's not their thing, okay? But it also, if you say that you're such a math student, then it makes them feel this unrealistic expectation of always being good at it. And then later on, maybe they'll experience a harder kind of math and they'll feel defeated because math was my thing my whole life. How could I not be good at this? How could this be giving me such a hard time? When really, if we speak with a growth mindset, um, it can be something that they can later on, if they encounter difficulty, be okay with that. You seem to enjoy math sometimes. You seem to enjoy reading sometimes. That makes me really happy, okay? Another thing is, 
uh, we don't want to say things like you're a very something student where we give an adjective. Um, we don't want to say you're lazy. <laughs> we don't want to say, um, you know, anything that kind of labels them. We want to talk more about their effort. We want to talk more about their effort. We can say you've been trying to and talk about what they've been trying to do. Okay. Um, we don't want to say you don't get this. We want to say, well, what parts do you get? or don't you understand yet? See if we can get the students to try to identify which part of the process they're working on and what is the part that they understand. And so what's like the next logical next step? All right, um, so that's something pretty important right there. Some other things to remember when we're trying to encourage a growth mindset in our children, think in terms of micro steps, all right? So if we think of what we've learned and try to think what's the next tiny little part that they need to work on. Um, and if we can identify that or help students identify that for themselves, that can be something that helps to foster a growth mindset because they'll know, like they don't wanna just think, I wanna, I wanna play basketball like you know, some famous superstar. They wanna think, okay, this is what I can do. Here's the next possible step that I can take that can help me to become better at what I'm working on. Okay, so think in terms of micro steps. What's the next tiny step that your child might be able to achieve and then help them achieve it? Um, use the word yet. That's a great word yet. Um, in fact, there's entire schools that have based their whole themes around what's called the power of yet. And Carol Dweck talks about that. Um, so they might say, I don't get long division. You could say, well, you don't get long division yet, but you're going to. All right. Um, so always think in terms of yet. What's something that someone is working on that maybe is still difficult for them now, but hopefully won't be for very long. So use the word yet as often as you can. Encourage reflection. Ask a child to think, well, what part are you good at? What part aren't you good at yet? What, um, what is it that works for you? So if I am trying to become a better basketball player, um, I want to be able to think about, well, what's holding me back? What can I do? What can I name that could be something that I can work on to become better at it? Um, and if we get our children to think about um, what parts of the learning they can work on, it makes them feel like they have a lot of control. It makes them feel like they can achieve this. Um, and and by, by naming those things, they will feel a lot more empowered to do well, even if it's something that they're not doing well on right now. All right. Um, and so that's just a few thoughts on fostering a growth mindset. Please look at those websites um, that I shared with you. And I hope that if a growth mindset is something that you're not quite sure about yet, it'll be something you'll feel more comfortable, comfortable about very soon. Thank you. I'll see you next time.